welcome to Know Your Mobile. I'm Basil, this is the Huawei Ascend Mate, this is a Google Nexus 4, and we're here to give you a quick side-by-side -side comparison of these two Android devices. The Google Nexus 4 is arguably the Android to have, being the Android flagship of the moment. It's the latest Nexus device, packs the latest version of Google's Jelly Bean, and is gorgeous and cost-effective as well. Huawei's Ascend Mate, however, is the latest phablet device from the Chinese manufacturer. In fact, the only phablet device um, is coming head um, on with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, for example, and packs some really interesting features, not least of all that 6.1-inch display. How does it fare against the Google Nexus 4? Let's find out. Kicking off with the design, and the Google Nexus 4 is glass front and back. It packs up spangly backing. It's really, really gorgeous in the hand. The flat backing doesn't feel completely ergonomic. However, the sides do help things along, but it does feel quite nice and premium. As far as ports go, power button to the left, left uh, to the right, sorry, left-hand side volume rocker up at the top, 3.5mm headphone jack, while down below is a micro USB port. On the reverse, 8 megapixel camera and that glass backing. You've all on the Huawei Ascend Mate got that gorgeous 6.1 inch IPS display on the front. On the actual, uh, in terms of the physicality, you have a matte backing on the black one um, and you've got a glossy backing on the white one. Um, in fact, there is also a matte black version, we do believe. However, in this case, we do have the uh, glossy back version, we do believe. However, in this case, we do have the matte one. That silver banding looks markedly Samsung-esque, however, unlike Samsung, it is very, very matte and not glossy. Ports include a micro SD card slot to the left-hand side, power button and volume rocker to the right. Down below is that uh, micro USB port. Up to the top is a 3.5mm headphone jack and micro SIM tray. If we flip the device around, you've got an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera. As far as the displays go, both are 720p displays. Thanks to, with will zoom in a little bit, thanks to the Ascend Mate being slightly larger, it's got a lower PPI, so it won't be as sharp. Um, however, it is LCD IPS as uh, it's the Google Nexus 4, and viewing angles across both are fantastic. We haven't got brightness on max on the Nexus 4, so if we do that, it might make it a little bit more representative. You can see it's sharper, however, both look great from all angles. Um, and generally, from where we're standing, the Huawei Ascend Mate doesn't look overly soft per se. As far as the user interface goes, both run Android, the Google Nexus 4 champions, Jelly Bean 4.2. The Huawei Ascend Mate packs Android 4.1. It does look and feel very, very different though. Huawei have laid their custom skin on top and this is the bravest custom skin we've seen so far. It's done away with the apps drawer, the applications drawer. Um, so you don't actually have access to all your applications except through adding them into folders or directly to your home screen. It's also uh, done away with the bar at the bottom. If you press the left hand button, we can get swipe up to bring it back. Um, this makes the most of the 6.1 inch display. However, it may consume a lot of users if, um, out of the box. All in all, we're not totally sold on Huawei's new version of Android just yet, but when we get it in for review, we'll be able to give you something considerably more conclusive. Moving on to the cameras, and both devices have 8 megapixel sensors. Um, as we know, uh, cameras can vary greatly from one 8 megapixel sensor to another, so we don't want to say anything too conclusive. However, we can quickly open up Huawei's UI and see that they've taken a very classical approach. This introdu introduction button on the left-hand side, sorry, brings in a host of options, which includes special effects, a lot we've seen from Huawei in the past. Um, all in all, we've been impressed with Huawei's optics and the camera UIs before, so um, hopefully the Huawei has sent will do the same. Google have really innovated in terms of the camera user interface. They've uh, included this gesture support with the camera UI, which makes one hand usage perfectly manageable. And indeed, the photo editor is absolutely fantastic. As far as specs go, both are 1.5 GHz quad-core processors. The Google Nexus 4 is a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor with 2 GB of RAM. Huawei Ascend Mate, we all believe, also has 2 gigabytes from. However, the processor is Huawei's own. Um, so it'll be really interesting to get this device in for review and put it through a few benchmarks. Finally, moving on to memory, and you've got 8 gigabytes of memory on the Huawei Ascend Mate. And the uh, Google Nexus 4 comes with either 8 or 16. However, unlike the Google Nexus 4, the Huawei Ascend Mate is expandable with a micro SD card slot to the left hand side. Thanks for watching Know Your Mobile. I have been Basil and this has been the Huawei Ascend Mate and the Google Nexus 4 made by LG. If you've got any questions about either of these devices, please feel free to fire us a comment below. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you want to, and check out knowyourmobile.com for more coverage of CES 2013.